If you want to go join that volleyball game, Adam, it's okay by me. Why not take a break? Um, I don't think so. I don't really know any of those kids. It's always that way when you move. Sooner or later, you make friends. It'll happen. Sure, maybe later. Okay, lab rat. If you're going to stay inside, come give me a hand with this. Sure, what's up? I found another bird this morning. These oil spills, they make me so mad, I, I can't see straight. Anyhow, let's see what we can do about it. Take a closer look, uh, then get a rag ready. The seagull is covered with oil and shivering miserably. Adam takes the clean rag. Adam takes the bottle of detergent. Adam puts some of the dish soap onto the clean rag. Great. Hold on a sec. Easy now, pal. Try to apply the soap with the grain of the feathers. That'll get most of the oil without breaking them. Gross. Will a bird die? He might. It depends on how much of a shock he's had. We're going to do all we can. Why don't you finish up? Should I take him outside and let him go? Not just yet. The soap removes his natural oils too, and that's what makes him float. He'd be shark bait until they build up again. We'll take care of him and hope for the best. I wish there was something more we could do. Me too. I feel like all we do is clean up after the fact, and it doesn't work too well. Even this fertilizer solution I'm working on for cleaning up the surface depends on too many factors, such as water temperature, current, stuff like that. I think this mix is better. It might even work on the coral a little bit. Try it out if you want. Blast! I'm late again. All these meetings are getting to me. So, do you want to go outside or stay here and maybe work with the dolphin? He's not recovering well from being entangled in that drift net. He could use some encouragement. Wow, could I work with a dolphin? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, just look at my instructions on the blackboard in the treatment room first, though. We have to make sure we're all doing the same thing with him. Gotta run. Committees. Wow, cool, my membership card! Adam picks up the garbage bag. He plans to use it to pick up trash when he goes diving later. Adam picks up the empty soda can. On second thought, I like that picture right where it is. Adam attaches the full water bottle to the gerbil cage.
I guess that hits the spot, huh? The oil has begun to sink to the bottom. Adam carefully pours some of the solution into the tank. Bacteria from the fertilizer solution breaks down the oil into harmless chemicals. The dolphin brought in by the fisherman is swimming in slow circles. The vet says that it has capture stress syndrome. A set of instructions ensures that all helpers treat the dolphin alike. Hi! Hey, you're swimming better than yesterday! You'll feel better in no time at all, and we can take you home. You've had a tough time, but we're not trying to keep you or anything. We're just trying to help you get better. Adam's soothing voice got through to him. It looks like he's decided to make friends. The dolphin eyes the bucket by the door. Adam picks up a mackerel. The dolphin chows down on the mackerel. Adam picks up a mackerel. Yes, he swallowed another one. Adam picks up... Well, I guess he's done. Adam doesn't want to fiddle around with. Moving slowly and carefully, Adam climbs into the pool. He can feel the dolphin's delight at having some company. The weird clicking sound means the dolphin is memorizing Adam by bouncing sound waves off him. It's called a sonar click. That was fun! Do it again! Hey, where are you going? Whoa, good one! You're making me dizzy! Catch me if you can, huh? The dolphin offers his dorsal fin to Adam. He wants to give Adam a ride! Whoa, I accept! Adam cups his hand and the dolphin swims up under it and pulls Adam into a whirling, swooping ride around the pool. Hey, thanks! That was the greatest! The dolphin looks really frisky now that he's pulled Adam around. He wants to play some more. There's nothing there. Adam takes the green frisbee. You're barking up the wrong.
that <laughs> that's an it The dolphin's psyched up and ready to play. I got it! <laughs> what? You talked? Did I? Oh! I guess I did. Er, I guess the hermit's out of the crab, so to speak. Allow me to introduce myself, Adam. And you know my name? Nothing wrong with my hearing, above or underwater. As I was trying to say, my name's Delphinius. Del or what? Delphinius. Got it? Delphinius. Got it. Complicated name. Cetus, our great whale king, named me. Of course, it sounds different in our language, sort of like this. I believe your human scientists call that my signature whistle. I also speak tuna and some of the more obscure coral dialects. Those are too high-pitched for you to hear. Anyway, they're only useful in my kingdom. Cool! Your kingdom? Right, my kingdom. It's... Oh no! My kingdom! Cetus! I remember now. I don't know what I've been thinking. How long have I been here? About a week. You're in pretty bad shape. A week? What a disaster! I've got to get out of here right away! Hold on. I'm not getting this. What are you talking about? What's the matter? That's me all over. Just rushing straight ahead, not looking where I'm going. That's how I got into this mess in the first place. When I ran into that net, it's because I was searching for Cetus. He's missing and I was sent to find him. Maybe he's in trouble or hurt or worse. I have to find out before it's too late. Adam, please help me get out of here. Of course I'll help you, Dolphinius. There, I've opened the hatch. Dad said you were almost ready anyway, so he wouldn't mind. I guess this is it. I'd say to thank your dad, but he'd think you were nuts. My dad might surprise you. Are you sure you have to go? Cetus is my king, Adam. If he needs my help, I can't fail him. But I won't forget you. I won't forget you either, Dolphinius. Good luck. <laughs> Adam watches sadly as Delphinius swims out to sea. <laughs> A familiar figure appears on the horizon. Delphinius, I'm so glad to see you. I've been wondering what happened to you all week. Did you find your missing king? No, things are worse than ever. Gotta catch my breath. Slow down, take your time. What do you mean? Strange things are happening in the kingdom. Oh, it's too hard to explain. If only you could see it. Well, I could see it. I'll just go back there with you. You, a human? You must be joking. Human lungs could never last where we'd be going. 
You'll have to get ready, Adam, before I could even consider it. Adam picks up the diving equipment and the transmitter. Okay, now I'm ready. I've got everything. Hurry up then. I have the worst feeling we don't have much time. Nope, that doesn't work. There's nothing. Adam empties his pockets. He puts on his fins, gloves, and mask and jumps into the water. You lead the way for a while, Adam. I'm still trying to get my sea legs back. Ha ha! Oh, yuck! Look at all that putrid stuff! That's why they call it bilge. It's all their garbage. Everything. And I do mean everything. Hey, look at that kid. He's about to lose control of the balloons. Hey kid, look out! The wind's too strong. He's gonna let go. Oh no! The wind was too strong. Those babies were filled with helium too. They can drift hundreds of miles till they sink. You're barking up the wrong... There's no... Adam can't get through the... Fl the bilge is flowing fast enough to be dangerous. Hey, it's a trash bag, not a water bottle. Adam decides not to throw out the jar. It looks recyclable. Adam picks up the glass jar and stows it away in his pack. Adam puts an item in his garbage bag. The water is a bit clearer. Adam has cleared a narrow path through the garbage. Oh yes, Dolphinius. Do you think your friends will let me help? Maybe not at first, Adam. They're pretty afraid of humans, you know. Bad experiences and all that. But they sent me for help and I'm bringing it. I'm bringing you. So get ready to die. Adam will need to put on the oxygen tanks to dive. But you'll have to select the tanks. Then click the tanks on Adam on the main screen. Adam checks the pressure in his tanks, wets his mask, and clears his regulator. Oh my head! I feel kind of funny. I mean, funny, peculiar. Maybe we ought to go back. You could still be hurt. No, it's not that. I think there was something in that garbage we swam through. It interfered with my sonar. You know, my direction-finding senses? What do you want to do? That's a lot of tangled seaweed up ahead. We have to go through. Seedis used to clear a path for us, but it's gotten overgrown. There's one way through. I can follow if you lead. Okay, I'll try.
is beautiful, isn't she? Her name is Illyria, my home. I think you need to talk to the Oracle. The Oracle of Illyria can see into the future. If anyone would know what you should do to help the city, it would be her. I'd better go see what's been going on since I left. I'll be at the fish apartments if you need me. Good luck, Adam. A long string that has narrow red shapes tied to it floats by. Adam thinks it looks familiar, but it's gone before he can remember where he's seen it before. Adam picks up the steel cage, thinking that it might come in handy. Adam ditches the pipe. One of Adam's teachers used to talk about trash on TV, but this television is trashy without even being turned on. Adam dumps it in his garbage bag. Adam transmits the radio into his garbage bag. Fortunately for Adam, the shopping cart is collapsible. Adam stuffs it easily into his garbage bag. Adam trashes the three-wheeler. The sad little beach ball, flat as yesterday's newspaper, sinks slowly into Adam's trash bag. Adam wheels the desk chair.